Today I'm going to show you how to use Coifin for security analysis. Hi guys, this is Dean from Pervasives, where we analyze and publish the sector and industry economic data. You can learn more at pervasives.com. So today we're going to look at the security analysis portion of the Coifin platform. I've pulled up Goldman Sachs. Uh, we're going to look at the tool itself. As you can see, we're on the first page of the snapshots at the bottom here. You have uh, options for snapshots and you have overview, description, price target, estimate overview, estimate trade. Let's just look at overview. You have basic information, the graph, key data about the company. This place right here is what they call the quote box. So I can move around different uh, elements. I can change that. Let's say I want to add this, this and this, dividend yield, etc. And now it's in the quote box. As you can see, dividend yield is there and I've added these two as well. So you can edit that through the quote box. For every stock, you can add notes. As you can see, I have test notes here about Goldman Sachs, etc. And then every time I save, they're attached to that particular security. So if I go in on another page or another area within Coifin and I arrive at Goldman Sachs, I'll have the option to see the same notes. Then you have the option to add to watch list. So as you may already know, Coifin, you create watch lists that you can then populate in dashboards and for example I could add Goldman Sachs everywhere here then they will be saved in that watch list so at the bottom there you have a little bit of valuation capital structure analyst estimates and a little bit of news let's go to description where you have basically the more of the qualitative statements of the company so the basic description uh, pretty standard the website that you can go to just double click and you're in the website for the company and um, the profile a little bit more of a statements about it I have, you have the related security so because Goldman Sachs is listed at all, uh, a lot of other exchanges they are listed there as their um, relative counterpart in other markets you have trading data so market cap enterprise value uh, sales, EBITDA, etc. The dividend information and a little bit on the price again. Price target, um, this is all the analyst uh, price target data. So you have, for example, the average of all these analyst ratings displayed here. And the graph, for example, the red line is the lowest uh, rating and the green line is the highest rating in terms of the price target for the stock and the white line is showing you the average estimates overview now you're getting into more of the figures in the uh, accounts so you can look at for example by default you're looking at the estimated sales um, for the next 12 months then you can look at a three-year chart a one-year chart you can look at the estimated EBITDA and there's no available data there for Goldman, but you can look at the EPS forecast uh, within a uh, gap or no gap. And same here, you have the same information as a table. Estimate trends, it's similar. You're looking at the kind of the same things, but in different format. You can choose between years and quarters. And these are the estimated figures for each quarters or years. And you can look again at the sales or the EPS. Like this, like so. If we go down to financial analysis, uh, you have first section is what they call the highlights. So you have highlights, income statement, balance sheet, cash flow, multiple enterprise value, profitability and solvency. The highlights is basically a summary of the other things there. If we go to table settings, you have the option to um, increase the decimal points between each figure. You can hide the lines where there is uh, no data 
and you can change which um, from which way the timeline goes either from right to left or left to right for example if I choose left uh, on my far left I will have the most recent data if I choose right uh, it's on the far right that I have the most recent data so let's choose that another uh, cool feature is that you can change the currency for example if you're trading uh, if you're looking at a security that's in Europe or in another geography it's not going to be uh, the figures are not going to be listed in US dollars now I'm not sure I maybe I should I should test it to see if I pull out the accounts for a European company and change the currency to euro and see if it matches because what could happen is that Coifin simply just do a currency conversion but I'm not sure about that but it's uh, still a very cool feature so you can choose the last 12 months the quarterly or the annual data let's go to last 12 months so the highlights you can see the key financials so the revenue EBITDA capital structure and the cash flow analysis then you can dive deeper for example in the income statement for example in the revenue if you want to see more detail you can split it to other like other revenues and you can see the details there if you scroll as you can see they give you lots of information in the accounts you can really go and dig into each sub items they give you all the option to uh, see thoroughly the accounts same with the balance sheet pretty standard you'll have uh, all the data at your disposal the cash flow statement as well um, with a little mini chart here that you can hover over and look at the uh, column chart multiples we're talking about uh, revenue multiples pr uh, price per sales ev to EBITDA price to book value etc enterprise value the capital structure ex the capitalization profitability some uh, you know common ratios return on assets return on equity uh, gross margin accounts receivable turnover the current ratio the quick ratio and finally solvency which looks at the debt now this these are financials so this is all the sections in the financial analysis if we then go to news and filing you have the news dashboard so in the news dashboard you have news articles on top really uh, pertaining to goldman sachs or at least related to then you have the tweets pertaining to goldman sachs as you can see all these tweets have the ticker Goldman Sachs tagged and then at the bottom you have the SEC filings broken up into financial news ownership prospectuses which is the same here if you go to company filings you have the same but displayed differently and um, these are only links to uh, Edgar so if you go and let's say uh, find a PowerPoint and you want to open it it brings you to the page on the SEC website. Then the transcripts. These are the company earnings transcript or other, not just uh, earnings, but uh, any uh, transcripts pertaining to that company as well. So if we go to, for example, the Q1 2021 earnings call, you'll have the text version of the transcripts. Um, now, what's really cool is that, for example, if it's too small for you, you can increase the text or reduce it. Uh, you can print the transcript or you can highlight text uh, to find a word. It's like Control F on Microsoft. And I know a lot of guys are making a lot of money doing that sort of stuff on uh, earnings transcripts. So, for example, if I check risk, they found 20 items with uh, risk so here you'll see highlighted whatever they talk about risk during the earnings call as you can see it's there 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 there, there. if you're looking for something in particular you can find it there risk 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 and that's how you do security analysis on coifin how can pervasives help you two ways number one 
Pervasives provides sector and industry short-term economic data that helps you discover untapped opportunities around the globe. You can access industry and sector economic data that we collect, compile and process. You can browse the data for free or sign up to the pro version to get everything. Number two, your local accountant will run away scared when you mention foreign stocks. Most accountants are focused on a single region and this can lead to the wrong advice. We can help you with your tax, legal and accounting needs. We provide expertise on international equity tax strategies and global brokerage options. We work with retail traders and investors to diversify their portfolios.